Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am the Style Coach. Today's video is going to be all about how to submit photos if you are choosing an online colour consultation. So we are in very strange times at the moment and because of all that's going on, I've put my in-person colour consultations on hold for the time being. The good news is I can still offer them online and the service is just as good and it keeps you and I safe. It also means that if you are internationally based, so you're not here in Ireland, then you have the option of booking in with the colour consultation with me too. So if you have booked in with me already or you are thinking about booking in, there is a few really important things that you need to know before you submit your photos. First of all, it's really important that you submit your photos about a week before your colour consultation. The reasons for this is that if the photos are not suitable, then I can correspond with you and you can resubmit them again. It also gives me enough time to work on your colours before your consultation because there's quite a bit of work that goes into the consultation before I actually speak to you online. The next thing that is really important, and I cannot stress this enough, is that you are free from makeup, false tan, or any kind of tinted moisturizer that might, anything that might interfere with how your skin naturally appears. And this really gives me the best understanding of your skin. Now the next point, which is really just as important as the last point I made, is the lighting in your photos. So I'm going to show you a few examples of what not to provide in colour consultations. So anything that has very strong, harsh sunlight on your face. So you're talking about like midday light coming right in on your face. So this is going to not give a very accurate indication of how your skin is naturally. Also, those golden hours at sunrise or sunset is not ideal either because they naturally give the skin a golden look and that will give a false reading for a warm undertone and you may not have a warm undertone. Ideally, you want to be sitting right in front of a window, facing a window. You want to make sure that your back is not to the window so that creates very harsh shadows on your face. So you want to face a window. Now the ideal situation is that you have this soft light coming in and a cloudy day is ideal for this. Clouds act as a natural diffuser of light and gives a lovely soft light on the skin. So this is ideal. If you're living in Ireland or anywhere close, you're in luck because we often have cloudy days. And if you're fortunate enough to live in a great climate where you have cloudless blue skies, then sitting in front of a window where the light is not shining directly in on your face is perfectly fine too. Now that you have your perfect conditions, it is ideal that you remove any kind of eyewear or contact lenses that will interfere with seeing your face. You can also provide a series of photos whereby your hair is down but away from your face, so maybe behind your ears. Uh, you can provide it uh, tied up and back, especially if you have dyed hair, it's great if you can pull that back because uh, that will also interfere with an accurate colour analysis. If you have coloured your hair or your eyebrows, please let me know when you're submitting your photos that you have done so and try to give me the best description of your what your natural hair would be like or maybe when you were a child or before you start dyeing it or colouring it. So let me know what those colours were. You also want to wear some kind of maybe a white t-shirt, uh, or something that sits away from your neckline. So and nothing with colors that are too harsh if you don't have a white tee. I really just need a headshot where there's no color reflecting off your skin. So a white tee is ideal for this. The angle at which you take your photos is also incredibly important. So you don't want anything where the, the camera is at a lower point to your face. You want it at eye line, so a direct photo where you're looking directly in the lens so I can get a clear picture of your eyes. So not looking down or up or sideways, just directly at the camera is ideal. 
Now a lot of us are used to taking selfies with our phones where we can see ourselves on the screen and we know exactly what's happening and where the camera is. However, if you can take it with the front facing camera, so turning your camera around and that's why it's important or you know, if you can get somebody else to take the photo, that's ideal. But that side of the camera is gonna give me more detail, especially when it comes to taking photos of the eye, which I'll talk about next. So try to take your photos with the front facing camera and that gives me the most detail rather than the other side. Now I will also ask you for a close-up of your eyes. Eyes are the window to the soul and they also give me a huge amount of information about your colors. It can be a little bit tricky to get a really detailed photo of your eye, but do try to get as much detail as you can, again with that forward-facing camera if possible, and if somebody else can take the photo, even better. So again, try to be near a window for this photo and that will give the most light onto your eye and give me the most detail. So now you are all set to submit your photos for your color consultation. And if they're not correct, I will ask you to resubmit, but the more closely you follow these guidelines, the more accurate my analysis will be. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you're in line for a color consultation, I look forward to meeting you then. Take care and I'll see you next time.